Hello and welcome to this video. We're going to try to re replicate an awesome uh, discovery this user in Reddit, McDennis. So Mr. McDennis, or oh yeah, uh, decided to um, he discovered something very interesting. So basically, he wanted to use the Windows 8 version of this OneDrive app, which was formerly called SkyDrive. He wanted to use the Windows 8 version of the OneDrive app because Windows 10 is missing features that the Windows 8 version had. Uh, namely, uh, if you wanted to uh, see all your files that you haven't synced, you could do that with the OneDrive app. <coughs> so why is that important? Well, the reason is, if you want to save a file into OneDrive in a folder that you don't have synced, you can't do that but with the app when you click save as one of the options would be OneDrive and you could use that app to browse to a folder you haven't synced to your desktop to save it there another reason you could use that one uh, OneDrive app is to share content from an app to OneDrive so currently if I click share here OneDrive isn't an option Dropbox is an option if I install Dropbox I will get Dropbox here but if you install the Windows 8 version of the OneDrive app, you'll be able to share from app from an app. Such as you could, for example, if you open up a Photos app, you could share a photo to OneDrive using the share contract. So he has some pictures, Dennis. Uh, so he's using the share contract to, to share some files from his folder to OneDrive. Because if I open up File Explorer. Say I want to share this file. I might go to Documents folder. If I want to share this random file, and I think it's in Share, and click the Share button, OneDrive isn't an option. However, it will be with the app, and you could share it to a folder that you don't have synced in OneDrive. Here he has some other pictures. Uh, integration with the file explorer so file picker if you want to click save as or open a file from OneDrive that you don't have synced as you could see OneDrive if it loads uh, OneDrive is an option here the modern one metro version of OneDrive lets you browse to files that are not synced to the PC so this is useful so he decided to install sideload the Windows 8 version of the OneDrive app and the next day, he got, well, he, just, he he went on his merry way. And the next morning, he says, uh, this morning I clicked the OneDrive tile, and guess what? The app that launches was actually the new UWP OneDrive app. So he got the Windows 10's universal version of OneDrive, OneDrive app, which is not even released yet on desktop PCs. To make sure I wasn't hallucinating or something, that's actually funny, I reinstalled the old OneDrive app to another VM, and right after that, the store had started offering the new unreleased app as an update. I guess it won't be too long before it's released to insiders. So as you could see, OneDrive here, an update is available to OneDrive, uh, to the Windows 8 version of OneDrive. And when you when you when you run the update, you get the unreleased universal version of OneDrive. And the reason for this is Oh no, I closed an important page. Okay. So the reason for this, oh let me, oh crap, okay. I don't like in many ways how Edge works. There's a lot of issues. Okay. Uh, th for example, in Edge, I can't middle click the black bu back button to open the previous page in a new tab. Things like this that works in every other browser uh, need to be fixed. Okay, so here, um, this is a really old question uh, from 2012. How do I reinstall the SkyDrive app in Windows 8? So basically, in Windows 8, the SkyDrive app, or OneDrive, which is formerly known as SkyDrive, the SkyDrive app was an app you could that was installed by default, but you could uninstall by right-clicking on it. And you could always reinstall by searching for SkyDrive in the Windows Store and installing it. Well, so this person asked, how do I reinstall SkyDrive from Windows 8? And this person said, here, here's this, here's the store link for the app. Just go on this link and reinstall it, which is fine. But 
here's the interesting part Microsoft has reused the same store page for the universal version of the OneDrive app so this means is the same store page is used for the Windows 8 app and as well as the Windows 10 app Windows 10 app has a bigger version number naturally than the Windows 8 app and when you click it as you can see this is remember this is made in 2012 this is a 2012 uh, this okay sorry um, this article uh, I don't know when the question was asked but this response is from 2013 so this question is from I think this answer was May 2013 way before Windows 10 even existed I don't think maybe perhaps before it was even conceptualized so he said get the Windows 8 or Windows RT app from this link when you click it as you could see it says OneDrive and not SkyDrive and you could see it's a Windows Phone version it's not the Windows Phone version it's the universal version the, re the only reason you could see phone screenshot is because Microsoft hasn't released the universal version on PCs it has only released the universal version on the phone so you see phone screenshots and it says this app will not work on your device which is not true this app will work on your device Microsoft is artificially not letting it happen so I, only, I can't click get the app but this is but you can force the store to get the app how do you do that and that's how this person did it he put the Windows 8 version on his desktop and what and when the store checks for an update it found that app already installed and compared the version he had installed with the newer version Microsoft had on the same listing page and install the universal app and that's because it's a universal app even though it run, it's designed for Windows 10 Mobile because it's a universal app you get the desktop version he got the he got the version which scales nicely on the desktop and he has some pictures of the universal app let me find it um here uh, there there's the universal version of the OneDrive app so there we go so in the next video what I want to do is uh, what I want to do in the next video here's a he's using the share contract and using OneDrive in the file picker so what I want to do in the next video is try to do the same thing I will try to install the um, universal app version of the OneDrive app and see how it goes. Well, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Postscript. Just for your information, um, this is the Windows 8 version of the OneDrive app, SkyDrive app. The, you, you cannot sideload the Windows 8.1 version of the OneDrive app and the reason for it is very simple. There is no app for OneDrive in the Windows Store for Windows 8.1. There is a Metro app, but it's not a normal that it's not a Windows Store app. The win in Windows 8, SkyDrive or OneDrive is baked into the System32 folder and runs as a service and not an application. In Windows 8.1, the, there's also a f modern file manager, metro version of file manager in the Windows directory which is different from the normal place where you can install store apps in the program files directory. That is a special app that is integrated into Windows and has no sandboxing. It, uh, it works as a file explorer as well as a OneDrive file browser and it is connected with the system32 version of the desktop sync client that includes placeholders and that metro version of the app also supports placeholders you could right click on any files that are not synced and you could sync it to your drive to your computer or you could unsync it and only let it be viewable uh, and you could have you could click to download a file to open it so there is very awesome OneDrive had pay placeholders and that all the entire system was built into both the desktop and the modern and it were connect and those two apps were intertwined together 
So if you have Windows 8.1, you cannot download the Windows 8 version of the SkyDrive app. It won't work. But uh, it, you will have a better experience. However, if you want the Windows, Windows 10 version of the WonderDrive app before it launches, you'll have to um, download Windows 8 and install it in a virtual machine or and uh, download an update to the OneDrive or sc built-in SkyDrive app which will initiate which will let you slide sideload the app which will let you capture the installation files and let you sideload the app on Windows 10 which will then let you install the Windows 10 version of the app so uh, we shall see how it goes see you in the next video